Good evening, Highland Baptist Church. My name is Erin Phelps, and this is... I'm Charlie Sewer. <laughs> my husband. Um, and we are kicking off the beginning of um, Lenten prayers on Sunday nights to help us all abide um, with God with one another. So um, we're starting this because over a decade ago, um, when we were still just kind of early in our relationship, both of us actually started a practice of praying together every night um, because of something with, because of our Lenten practice. That's what we did to enrich our lives. And we liked it so much that it's part of our routine. So we are going to be doing that um, tonight with you all and inviting you into our prayerful space and practice. And um, if there are times when you want to reflect and think to yourself about how this relates to you. It's so great because I think I like our format. We do it. <laughs> but it keeps it adaptable. Um, it's something where you can focus on what you care about and whether it's one-on-one -on -one spending time with God or spending time with a friend or a partner or your whole family with God together, it's just a way to quietly abide. So um, to start off, and this is a place, like I said, where if you want to pause in a bit to reflect, you certainly can. We'll be here ready to restart. That um, we usually enter prayer by reflecting on um, things that are important to us often in the day, right? So it could be something that um, we want to ask God's help for. It could be something we are thankful for. Um, it could be just sort of a long-term thing, right? That every night we find ourselves coming back to this, this prayer. Um, but it's a little more choose your own adventure that way. And then we enter into what we have practically called our standard prayers. So Charlie, do you want to tell them a little bit about what that means to us? Sure. Our standard prayers are just the things that we always want to pray for. Um, and ours happen to be three things that we're always thankful for. We're always thankful for our cats, for our friends, and for our family. And then we finish up with the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> so as a means of closing, we always say the Lord's Prayer as a way to center ourselves and sort of finish our time of prayer together. So you are invited to do that with us um, as well at the end of this. So once again, it's kind of whatever occurs to you as the day has happened, whatever is on your heart. Um, and that can include Thanksgiving, too. That's something really important. And sometimes I even just say thanks to God for being God. And then um, you might develop what you would love to think of as standard prayers. Prayer is hard to keep as a practice. So even two or three things every day can be so special. And then finally, the Lord's Prayer, something recited. So we invite you into our prayer time together. And at this time, you can also be bringing your own thoughts and petitions to God. So I'll start by saying, I want to say a prayer of thanksgiving for the Highland Baptist community. Um, the church is so special. We are doing so many big and lovely things as a community and being able to see people's faces and be together just means a whole lot. Um, Charlie, what's something you want to pray for? Uh, well, this is kind of a silly thing, but this morning my glasses broke, so I need to get some new ones. So I want to pray for a quick and easy eye exam and um, shopping for glasses um, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, so hope everything works out okay. Yes, I want to tack on that. I want to pray that those things are not too expensive. Mm -hmm. And also I pray that I like the glasses he picks out for himself. So um, help God. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to... Um, also on a more serious note, pray for peace. I want to pray for, um, peace just in the Ukraine. Sorry, you may be able to hear our cat, but that is often part of prayer too. Um, and, uh, yeah, peace in Ukraine, but also, um, worldwide, there are so many other kinds of peace that we're hungry for. And I want to pray that God helps us be that peace and bring that peace however we can. Uh, I also want to pray for something a little bigger, which is um, just for our future um, as as a couple, as individuals, but also as a community. Um, there's uh, there's just always a lot going on, and uh, I, it's something that we do a lot is mm -hmm. we, we just pray for our future. Yes. Um, and that's because God knows what kinds of decisions we're always <laughs> faced with making. And so rather than praying for an outcome, we've learned to just say, let's pray for the big deal. 
um, and pray that it it goes well and we make good decisions with God as part of that. Um, yes, and also now back to a smaller thing for me, I want to pray for my homework. Um, I have a lot of homework that I've been putting off all weekend and um, now is the time that I really need to buckle down so I can do well in my studies and um, feel good about my progress. So that's great. Yeah. You ready for standard prayers? That sounds great. And again, yours might be totally different. In fact, I would expect them to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's pray in Thanksgiving for our cats, especially this one who's walking around behind the, com the computer right now. Mm -hmm. He wants to be part of prayer. He we'll see if he gets things. interested in our candles. But we are thankful for our cats anyway. They're wonderful. Let's also pray in Thanksgiving for all of our friends, our Bible study friends that we saw this morning, and for everyone at Highland, and everyone that we know. We know such wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then finally, we'll pray in Thanksgiving for our families. They're so wonderful and supportive, and just very lucky to have them. Mm -hmm. And now, um, you're invited on your side of the computer or tablet to join us as we wrap up the way we usually do with the Lord's Prayer. And I should say, we have preferred language that we use a lot of the time. So we often say our creator. It's kind of like what Lauren sometimes does when um, she's praying that prayer at church. But you can say whatever you want, our mother, our father, our parent. But we'll start by saying our creator. So, all right. Our creator, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you, Highland, for entering into this time of quiet. Um, relaxed prayer, and we hope that you find your own ways to enjoy unwinding this weekend with the prayers on your hearts. And in the meantime, uh, enjoy abiding in God's shadow. Bye.